The, the actual n numbers of those affected by TBI and PTSD is actually unclear. Uh, that There have been uh, estimates that up to a third of our combat veterans uh, suffer from either PTSD, TBI, or depression and that um, actually up to 5% may suffer from all three of those uh, conditions, uh, which would uh, put our numbers at somewhere between 500,000 and 800,000 uh, combat service members, men and women, who have been impacted by PTSD or TBI. I think the estimate for post-traumatic stress disorder would be uh, about 15% of the popu of the exposed population, so again, we're probably talking about 300 to 400,000 service members, uh, combat service members, and veterans who've been impacted, uh, and likely a similar number of those affected by some level of traumatic brain injury, whether that be mild, moderate, or severe. What was pretty clear was that the impact of these injuries, whether they be purely physical or whether they be uh, psychological or invisible, such as PTSD or traumatic brain injury, had profound impact on families, that they were confused about the effect. Um, oftentimes they were overwhelmed by the injuries that they were faced with, and that there was a need to better understand, inform, and address the needs of families particularly families with children so that they could better adapt to the realities of post-injury life.